Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? All right. What? Again? Look, here's the deal, you guys. This is what I've been telling you now for quite some time. You got all these different people out there. Everybody's got their own opinion about the Iraqi dinar. And if you've been doing this long enough, eventually people will start talking about you. How I'd feel bad if nobody was talking about me. But it is what it is, so let's go ahead and get things rolling, shall we? Before we get started, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button, and if you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel, and I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold and silver, head on over to our friends at Money Metals Exchange. The link will be down below in the description. If you are a first-time buyer and you spend more than $100, Use promo code Pimpy Silver. Yes, it has changed. P I M P Y S I L V E R. So if you're watching this video and it's an older video, make sure you check on current videos because the code is going to be changing from time to time from now on. Also, I can be found on other platforms. Everybody knows I have my own website, Pimpy's News Network. Over here, I post videos that I can't get away with over on YouTube. Also, I have a group on Facebook called Pimpy's Investment Chat. Over here, we do talk about gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, as well as foreign currency investments. Come on over here and join us. It's free to do so. You can also come follow me on Twitter, MeWe, YouTube, and Odyssey. The links for all these platforms will be down below in the description. So for whatever reason, if I get removed off of one platform, you could find me on the others. So a friend of mine named Bill out there sent me a message in my Twitter account. And unfortunately, I didn't get around him quick enough because this one's, eh, it's not that old, but even so, it's a little older. It's not a big deal. Anyways, he said, hey, so-and-so is talking about you. And then he sent me this. Yeah, I kind of heard of him. I mean, I don't know much about him. I just know he's a troll. He talks shit about everybody. That that shouldn't be surprising. And then you find out what the reasons are for talking crap about other people. But before we get into that, well, let's see what kind of important information that he shares with, well, you, the public, shall we? All right, let's take a look here. Reminder, our followers on, okay, so here he is. He's uh, supporting the website. That takes donations, by the way. Nothing wrong with that. Well, here you go. He's uh, posted an article that you could read if you go over to his website. Okay? Maybe there's something better. Also, tool, little brand in and all my repairs on the website. I have again, no matter what. Uh, no, no better time to support a great fact-based website. Hmm. Do you share any kind of other news out there about the Iraqi dinar? <laughs> well... If you're an investor in Iraqi Dinar, well, do yourself a favor and learn about the facts. You can come on over there to this website. I love how you say everybody else is lying, everybody else is scamming. But he doesn't offer anything to the public, not unless you pay for it. Hmm. Well, maybe there's other information. A great article today came out about... Uh, a great article. You mean the same articles that we all talk about? But you can go there and pay for it. All you got to do is go to that website. So learning how economics, yeah, there you go. He's going to teach us. Are we ready? Uh, no. Yeah, you got to go to this website. 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 <laughs> Look, hey, to each his own, man. He's been doing his hustle for quite a long time. He's another one of these people who talk about the Iraqi dinar and swears he's better than everybody else. And he's been doing this for 28 years and this has got thousands of hours. And yet he's not going to tell you anything that I haven't already said for free 99. All right. They swear up and down they're going to teach you something, but it's not. It's the same thing. 
So what this troll likes to do is go in and pick out certain information that I share and then pick on it and try to make it sound like it's worse than it is. But I mean, I heard about this guy. I already know he already likes talking crap about everybody. He's a troll, but nobody ever pays attention to him. That's the funny thing. No retweets, no comments, no retweets, no comments. Hey, you're starting to get some. No re. No retweets, no comments. No retweets, no comments. Hey, there you go. I never said it was anything significant. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> he just makes up his own shit. As you can see, he goes down here and he posts. And he posts crap about everybody. He's just a troll. I mean, he's a, he's a nobody. I mean, you know, more power to him. He keeps talking about me. I don't care. Good Lord. I think at least most every guru has spoken about me one time or another. But still won't come on my channel, though, to have any kind of respectful debate they just won't do it and they'll make every excuse in the world why not to do it oh i don't want to oh this that that this but anyways i don't want to get too much into the weeds here let's take a look at this website shall we all right here you are denard alert 12 years oh gotta have a paid membership wow here's the thing see you get text messages for the latest news they're going to text you let you know when it's there, the article, so you can run on over there and do it. Most people just check every day anyways. Or you get a voice call, or when something major happens, then they're going to call you and inform you how, when something major happens, I promise you, everybody and their mother is going to be talking about it on YouTube. So why should you pay for it? I don't understand why anybody would want to do that. So, what do you get here? Denard Alerts now offers the fastest and most accurate way to be notified of pending revaluation of the Iraqi dinar, the new Iraqi dinar. So, you can get it through a text or you can get a voicemail. So, if you want to hear it, be first. You get to hear the news first. If you just can't wait, what, a minute? Then you can hear it first here. So, no matter where you are, you can get it on your phone. That might be a good thing for those of you who really can't wait. You never know. Maybe you can come over and check it out. That alert uses the state-of-the-art currency monitoring software, <laughs> which watches simultaneously major banking institutions. Oh, sounds all fancy. Yeah, what kind of software do you have? I doubt it. Anyways, look, you can come over here for a low cost, a one-time fee of $7.99. You can get that alert. Most comprehensive notification network available. Wow, they're fancy. For $7.95, it should be. <laughs> This one, I do like this a whole lot, though. Look at this. Over the last couple of years, the Nard Alert has proven to be the most competent SMS text notification service by its own customer feedback and testimonials. <laughs> the Nard Alert is the only proven site to offer reliable notification upon the pending revaluation of the new Iraqi Dinar. And look at this little award that they typed up for themselves. <laughs> I don't care about this guy anyways. This is what he wants. So he talks shit about everybody else and then promises you that, like everybody else, their information is the best. They've been doing this the longest. They're the most knowledgeable. And then when you listen to him, you're going to go, it's the same shit, man. It's the same crap. It is. I can get it for free 99 over here on Pimpy's channel or anybody else's channel. There's nothing new here. So here you go. Here's where they post all the articles. Good. It looks like it's been really busy. That's a good thing. Let's go see uh, Caperoni. What does he have to say, huh? What happened? Oh, you have to be a member. Oh, that's why. You, you got to be a member. You can't even go in here. Yeah, yeah. See? As I stated before, it, it's it, you've been in this long enough, you're going to get talked about. All they're doing is regurgitating the same news they get from all the articles that we read on our YouTube channel. Trying to talk about how they have all this knowledge and stuff. Mm, are they offering any kind of courses that will help educate you? And if they do, how much does it cost? And what are you really getting for that? Nothing. It's just regurgitated BS. He's not saying anything that I haven't said before. Look, I spoke about this many times. When it comes to Iraqi Dinar... There's a lot of variables that's involved that isn't going to happen overnight. It'll most likely happen in increments. There's a lot of things that people have to take into consideration. But who am I to judge? Go on over there, check them out, subscribe, and see if you're learning anything different that you don't already get 
from other people out there. Besides all the hype, maybe? Eh, who knows? But what people say out there about me doesn't offend me. It doesn't, because people are just going to talk crap. That's how it is. I usually try to avoid talking about other people unless people are directly asking me questions about people. Or if the information that they're sharing with other individuals is uh, causing people to contemplate suicide, well then of course I'm going to say something about it. But I'm not offended by what he's saying. I mean, come on, the guy's a dog lover. <laughs> you know, I can't get mad at him for that. Yeah, I mean, I, I heard this a while back that he just, uh, he does that to everybody. You can go through his whole lineup and just see it's the same thing over and over. This person's an idiot, that person's an idiot, and then he doesn't explain why. Or he'll put a little blurb in there that's not going to be anything different than what we're already saying out here. Look, whatever it takes to drive business over to his website, that's all they want. A lot of these Dinar YouTubers all have the same kind of thing. There's a website they want you to go to. How I do the same thing. I mean, just in case I get taken down, I usually go over to the other website. Are there stuff over there that I talk about that's not related to the Iraqi Dinar that I put over there? But if they're charging you money for what? Information that you can get for free? That's not worth it. Promising you it comes from a special intel person? It's not worth it. By the time you pay your fees, it'll start to add up. And over a period of time, guess what's going to happen? You're going to end up spending more money than you get back if you're not careful. <laughs> so, yeah, it's no big deal. I mean, look, I've had rounds with people before. It just usually when I get bored and I want to entertain myself, I'll respond. But for the most part, i see seen them and don't care. I really don't. Like I said, they're going to go on and tell you that they have a special intel person or a special military person or they have an insider person. Or they got more knowledge because they've been doing this for so long. It's just all bullshit. Numbers on the back screen and special codes. and <laughs> Yeah, that's just all the nonsense that comes along with uh, talking about the Iraqi dinar. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I just wanted to respond. I know a couple of you brought it to my attention. And I just said, yeah, it's no big deal. There, this should make him happy. I talked about him. I'm sure he's tickled pink. Anyways, that's it for now, you guys. I'll get back at you later. I'm out.